Good evening and thanks so much for choosing KLBK. I'm Terry Furman. Matt will join us in just a moment. We now know the names of the four people found dead in a South Lubbock home that burned overnight. Now this is a story we've been following since six o'clock this morning when we first broke it to you on Brighton early. We've got team coverage of the tragedy that police are continuing to investigate as a case of arson. We start things off with our Matt Stell, who's live from outside that home on 124th in Oxford tonight. Matt, good evening. Terry, good evening. We all just woke up to that awful news and wondered how did any of this happen? I'm going to step out of the way for just a moment so you can see what this fire has left behind. Officials tell us 40% of this home is badly damaged. You can still see a very heavy law enforcement presence here in a neighborhood that is usually pretty quiet. But like you said, Terry, we finally know the identities of those four victims that perished in this fire. 46-year-old Angelica Vasquez, her two sons, 18-year-old Felipe Madrid, 15-year-old Andres Madrid, and 48-year-old William Boyles. We're still waiting to find out what the nature of the relationship that Boyles has with that family. I'm now joined by our Landry Senna. Landry, you've been out here all day talking to these neighbors about this family. Who, the, who they say was beloved and just very sweet people to be around. We'll get to that in just a bit. But first, just walk us through what authorities say actually happened here at this home. Right. Well, Matt, it was just after 1 a.m. that this fire started. Lubbock police were called about reports of a shooting here. When officers got here, that's when they found the home up in flames. And Lubbock Fire Rescue were finally called about 15 minutes later, and neighbors tell us the flames were about 20 to 30 feet in their estimation. And like you said, Matt, the fire was contained to this home, but people who live nearby were asked to evacuate. The fire was eventually put out about 45 minutes later, just after responders and discovered those bodies. Now we've talked to neighbors today and who all tell us Angelica and her two boys had lived inside this house for more than three years. Felipe and Andreas were students at Lubbock High and we've heard from people that the beloved family was active in the community and you would always see them at neighborhood gatherings. Neighbors who live across the street showed me ring doorbell video and uh, this is the moments leading up to that fire and it wasn't anything visual six gunshots and a woman screaming. We're not sure yet, though, if that woman was actually on Helica. Gosh, it, Landry, you mentioned police officers were called out because of a shooting. So right. the question that all of us want to know, is there a suspect? Is there someone still on the run? What do we know when it comes to that? Right. Well, Matt, we have asked those questions, but LFR and LPD have only released the names this far. So oh. we're going to try and keep y'all updated. Yeah, so they're telling us that there is no threat to the public right. right now at all. No suspect right now. They believe that everything, yes. there's no threat to the public at all. That's right. That's uh, that's really all we know at this point. Landry, so. thank you so much. Terry, as you can imagine, this neighborhood is more than shaken. These are people that they knew. These are people that they loved. And now they're just trying to figure out where to go next with all of this. This is just very heartbreaking. As you heard Terry mention at the beginning of our newscast, police say that this is an arson investigation. So because of that, this is still a developing story. So make sure you stay with us over on Lubbock.com and, of course, on our website. Uh, or, of course, right here on KLBK. Terry, back to you in the studio.